Check out our rich tent. If you're scared of Jamaicans, just tell us. Hey y'all, you already know this is just as I talk about everything track and track related. Yeah, I can't believe it. I just woke up to this. So I heard everybody in my comment section telling me Shakara Richardson just pulled out and I didn't believe it. I just did a video on Shakara Richardson and giving her credibility. I literally just did a video on Shakara Richardson and giving her the benefit of the doubt saying that she would run a 10, 6, 8 and show everybody. But she just proved to me that she's not in her right state of mind still because there's no way you as a professional pulls out of a professional run three times in a row without any explanation and if y'all think i'm bs and i got something for y'all okay i have the stuff right here that i can show you right here i got it so here on let's run.com yesterday they just posted a article about Shakara Richardson withdrawing from the Kip Kino Classic. And if you all know where that is, that's in Kenya. And all the fastest race was supposed to be there. Shelly Ann Fraser Price was actually supposed to be there. And that's what we want to see. But she pulled out of that. So what was her reasoning for pulling out of that? Well, according to the article itself, there actually really isn't a reasoning. So let me show you. And as you can see right here, Shakara Richardson... Pulled out again with no explanation. Like I said, she was this race, Shelly and Fraser Price. Like, could you imagine, like, trying to watch Super Bowl and then a team pulls out and say they're not going to play? And then you ask them why they're not going to play, they don't tell you anything. But apparently, this isn't the first time she pulled out of a race this year. This is the third one. She was supposed to run at the Texas Relays and the USATF Bermuda Games, but withdrew without that. Her agent even didn't even know. Well, let me rephrase that. Her agent didn't respond. I think he still probably didn't know. He, she probably hit her up hit, or hit him up and was like, hey, I'm not running. But that's crazy. So she ran a 10-7-2 last year. So I, I don't know what it is. So I don't know. I mean, obviously, it's not her being scared. Like, I don't think she's scared. But she needs to give me a reason and give all of us a reason why she's not running. Like, you, here's the thing you're a professional you're a professional sports player you need to be professional this isn't college anymore you can't you know being like in college you can be like oh i don't want to come you don't have to explain anything to anybody it is coach is going to be like all right you're not going to come to this track meet you're not going to ride the bus with us to this track meet but you're a professional now you need to start talking to your fans you need to let them know like hey i'm not coming but she's not doing that and it's crazy because Everybody wants to know, like, I want to know, like, why she's not doing it. I want to see her run, but she keeps doing this. It's kind of like, she's, man, I don't want to be that guy, but it's showing that she has no credibility at this point in 2022. But I don't know. What do you all think about her pulling out of the Kip Kino Classic? And do y'all think it was a good move, bad move, horrible move? Or do you think she'd probably just start running all together? Y'all let me know in the comment section. And peace.